Okay, so today's tutorial is going to be all about transformations. Now, transformations you'll find under Edit, Transform, but before you can transform anything, you need to make a new layer. You can't just transform the background because it's locked. So with that, you do Command-J or Control-J on Windows, and you'll see a new layer pop up. Now with this layer, you're going to want to go where I told you before, Edit, Transform, and then you'll have a variety of options. So I'll go over all of these in this video. If you click Scale, you'll be able to scale your, your uh, layer that you're on, and you can drag it all around. And it does not keep the proportions. Now, if you want to keep the exact proportions of your image, which you usually do, you're going to want to hold shift and then drag from a corner and keep holding shift. Now, see, I could drag all around and it will keep my proportions. Now, this is one of the things you're going to really want to get because if you don't know how to do this, all of your images are going to start looking really warped and weird and you probably don't want that. So, I'm going to reset with another layer. Now our next option is rotate, and this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you go to the corners or the edge, you'll see your pointer turns into this rotate thing, and you can just drag it around, and it will rotate wherever you drag it. So do Command Z, and the next one is skew. Now what skew does is you can drag the edges to really skew your photo. Now this is what you'll want to do if you're messing with like abstract or th somehow the picture looks better like this. It usually doesn't but it might in your case so that's just an option that Photoshop provides. Then our next option is distort. In distort you can really mess up your picture because you can drag the edges. Uh, this is also messing with perspective, although there is a perspective option. And if you drag the corners, you can make some really weird shapes. Drag it out, really mess around with it, and create something pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do Command Z to go back, or you can go to your history palette. And our next one is perspective, which is similar but uh, different in the way that it acts when you drag a corner. So if you drag one corner, it drags the corresponding corner to warp both sides equally so your perspective is changed. So if we were looking at the bunny from the top, uh, that would look more like perspective. And then if you wanted it more out, then it will drag them uh, all symmetrically so the perspective stays intact. So that's a really useful tool if you're playing around with images. Go back, edit, transform, and our last one is called warp. And what warp does it, is it creates a warp grid and you can really mess with your photo this way. Uh, almost, almost like paint. Just it's this is what uh, the iPhone apps use when you warp pictures like you mess with people's faces and stuff you can warp people's body parts and faces and stuff and it's kinda of fun to play around with you can make stuff bulge like this uh, it's, it's useful but I never really use it on projects that I do just because it makes the picture look so weird but you might like it now it is kind of annoying to keep going out to keep having to go to edit, transform, and then choose one of the options. So what Photoshop provides is a shortcut, Command T, for free transforming, which is what I usually use. So if you to if you do Command T, it brings up all of these options, or at least most of them, in the same package. See so you have your scaling your 
rotating and you can also do shift scaling which also keeps the perspective you can rotate it and keep shifting and it will keep the proportions of your photo so that's one of the most useful shortcuts that you can use uh, it's, it's really handy and a lot of the times when you're making these pictures um, and if you want to rotate it uh, completely upside down or reflect it across an axis or across an axis uh, it's it's a lot easier instead of dragging this corner and going over here with it here I'll drag it in so you can see uh, instead of like trying to fix the proportions and dragging it here and then trying to get it to look good again uh, that's really hard to do a lot of the time and with this we can just do transform and then rotate horizontally which rotates it across the y-axis and image or no edit transform rotate vertically rotates it across the x-axis so it'll flip it upside down so those are some pretty useful things to remember um, I, I just did this video because someone on YouTube asked how to scale a picture which I just forgot that I didn't teach because I'm so used to just knowing how to do it so if I ever miss something or you don't know how to do something please ask because I will make a video tutorial to help you I'm doing these to help you guys so if you don't get something please ask and that's pretty much it for the transformations you're gonna have to play around with them on your own to really get the most out of them but just remember if the option doesn't show up either press enter to save your changes and then it will show up or you're working on the background later which you can't so do command J so comment rate subscribe our next video will be about project 2 which is combining a bunch of different images into one uniform image that looks really cool which is basically what Photoshop is. So I uh, will show you some examples of that next time and comment, rate, subscribe.